Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're checking out Louis CK 8 cell phones. I've probably done a few Louis CK on this channel. But yeah, let's go. Some parents really struggle with, like, all the other kids have the, the terrible thing, so my kid has to... Yeah, let's let... you know, let your kid go and be a better example to the kids. Mm -hmm. they, just just because the other stupid kids have phones wow. doesn't mean that, okay, well, my kid has to be stupid, otherwise she'll feel weird. Right. You know, I, I think these things are toxic. I don't think they, especially for kids. It's just this thing. It's bad. Mm -hmm. right? They don't look at people when they talk to them, and they don't build the empathy. You know, kids are mean, and it's because they're trying it out. <laughs> they, they, they look at a kid what? and they go, you're fat. And then they see the kid's face scrunch up and they go, ooh, that doesn't feel good to make a person mm. do that. Right. But they, but they got to start with doing the mean thing. Mm. But when they write you're fat, then they just go, mmm, um, that was fun. I like it. <laughs> so, what a it weird. tasted good. Yeah, exactly. You need... The thing is, I, you need to build an ability to just be yourself and not be doing something. That's what the phones yes. are taking away, yes. is the ability to just sit there like this. That's being a person, right? Mm. Yes. No one can, they gotta, uh, you gotta check. Because, there, you know, underneath everything in your life, there's that thing, that empty, forever empty. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that, yes. What? yes. Yes, I, yes. Yes, Just I know that, what you're that talking about. knowledge that it's all for nothing and you're alone. You know, it's down there. And sometimes when things clear away, you're not watching it, you're in your car and you start going, oh no, here it comes <laughs> that I am alone. Like it wow. starts to visit on you. You know, just the sadness. Yes. Life is tremendously sad just by, you know, being in it. And so you're driving and then you go, uh, that's why we text and drive. I look around, pretty much 100% of people driving are texting. Yes. And they're killing, everybody's murdering each other with their cars. Yes. But people are willing to risk taking a life and ruining their own because they don't want to be alone for a second hmm. because it's so hard. I was in my car one time. So this is so funny, but yet so interesting at the same time. He's speaking so much facts that we don't even think of. He's, a, he's an absolute genius, and I know they tried cancelling him during uh, lockdown and all that. But this geezer, I like the way he's, he's just truthful, he just says what's on his mind. That's the real comedy, you know. He's able to make a joke and also spread, you know, some good words. I like that. And a Bruce Springsteen song comes on. And it made me really sad. It's like Jungle, what the one's on Jungle song? Jungle Land. Jungle, this one where he goes, hurry! And he sounds far away. <laughs> you know, I was like, that's, that's, that's half. Yeah. That's half of them. Yeah, that's a lot of them. <laughs> no, he goes, Yeah, exactly. And he's cool, cool. really far away sounding. Yeah. Can you do it with the reverb? Can you do it? <laughs> no, they're not doing it. They're not right. trying to. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. Except for it was Springsteen. If it was you doing that, I would have been like, what the hell is that in my radio? <laughs> I did it just the same yes. as Bruce. And I heard it, and it gave me kind of like a fall back to school depression feeling. It made me really sad. Yeah. And I go, okay, I'm getting sad. I've got to get the phone and write hi to like 50 people. <laughs> and then, you know, somebody cool writes back, and then somebody not as cool writes after, and I'm like, oh, f you, I'm not going to. Wow. Somebody better. Wow. <laughs> but, uh. Hey, how come you didn't answer my text? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Speaking of which. Yeah, well. Great timing. Yeah, because he, well, wrote, he yeah. wrote first. That's yeah. right. So. Anyway, I started to get that sad feeling, and I was reaching for the phone, and I said, you know what, don't. Just be sad. Just let the sadness mm -hmm. just stand in the way of it and let it hit you like a truck. <laughs> and I let it come and bruise, and I just started to feel, oh, my God. And I pulled over, and I just cried like wow. a bitch. I cried <laughs> so much. And, I, and it was beautiful. It was like this beautiful, it's just this yeah. sadness is poetic. You're, you're lucky to live sad moments. Wow. And then I had happy feelings because because when you let yourself feel sad, yes. your body has like antibodies. It has happiness that comes. Rushing in. Rushing in to meet the sadness. So you're, I was grateful to feel sad. And then I met it with true, profound happiness. It was such a trip, what? you know, and the thing is, because we don't want that first bit of sad, yeah. we push it away with like a little phone or 
for the food, <laughs> and you get you get a wow. little kind of. You never feel completely sad or completely happy. Right. You just feel mm. kind of satisfied with your product. Yes. And then you die. <laughs> so that's why I don't want to get a phone for my kids. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. <laughs> what a reason. He came back to it. That was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. But yeah, let me, let, let me know what a Louis C.K. stuff you want to see. He's absolutely funny. He's so, so funny. Even now, Coco. Yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Don't be a stranger. Check out the Patreon. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.